So when I came after the major, I talked about positivity, I talked about all the things we can manage to do straight away, to improve straight away. And I was like, then we go with the event with those things we can bring in straight away and then we will work on, on a more uh, deep approach on all the specific topics. Uh, adaptation was one of one of the, the thing um, and having every players managing to give more and not let just a leader giving like a, sim a simple strict game plan and stick to it. So yeah that was the main thing. So being really taking the game as simple as possible, uh, focusing on the big matters, the simple things, and uh, building confidence and uh, adapting, basically. I think that's the main part. Non mais là c'est sûr ça tombe, ça, ça tombe T'es le pire quoi Je pense qu'on est pas mal. C'est un peu plus à gauche alors. Un peu plus de toi. Oh tu vas mettre la grosse barre. Okay. Allez, bonne chance. <rire> ça va aller bien là. Allez bien là. Pas mal, là. Bah So before after the major, uh, we decided to to play a bit differently, at least for uh, the way to practice. Uh, we decided to to give more uh, freedom to like every player. Uh, we played without calls uh, during like one week or just some little calls, but uh, just let uh, play about the adaptation to give more freedom and more power to every player. Beat uh, those two, so put it up cash. Yeah. Alright. Good luck, buddy. Three, two. On dit qu'on ensemble. On dit qu'on est ensemble. Ouais. Trois, trois, deux, un. Ensemble! Coming into this one, then Phase Clan obviously going to be choosing the CT side and Guardian oh, going to no. be choosing the head there from Smiths early on. The aggression on this, they just go for the mid crunch. They've had two kills, luckily Kenny S flicking away with the gaff. Kenny finds himself a hat trick of frags and saves the day already for G2 as this round looks like it should have been an opener for Phase Clan. No! Flashing through the smoke. Walking right into their door of death and demise. Oh, Ooh, nice little 4k there from Body. Smoke's coming hey! down. Smith still yeah. defending, waiting to see if anyone else is going to push through from balcony. As he holds the angle, there's the flashbang to blind him. No tries to readjust. Actually, is able to stay alive, but with just six HP, he isn't going to be that effective. But he finds the kill. Still got one frag existence from the site, doing damage. Nearly the double spray down, but he only gets one. It's up to Nico to save it now. And a one v two, Kenny S from close oh! range punishes him with the orb. G two going to be on the T side. Phase plan over on the CT side as we kick it off. It's looking good for G2 so far. They're bludgeoning down everyone from Phase Clan, hitting huge shots. Smiths has had himself a hat trick, and he looks for more. Runs into the unknown and does go down as he gets gobbled no, up by Guardian. The Guardian is gone. Punish there. The shocks will silence him, and G2 get the opening round. As they fall into a two versus four now, Snod. Ten seconds on the clock. It's now or never. They bombard their way out, but they are going down. Surely they'll lose it here. Guardian falls. G2 win it as they take it 16 14. The team has been great as a unit, and I'm really, really impressed by uh, the composure of uh, Existence and Smith. Uh, 
they were like a bit stressed lately and uh, with the communication late rounds and stuff and uh, I'm really amazed because in a few days we spoke a lot about those things and uh, they stayed really calm and uh, controlling the game really well uh, even though it was really tough to, to, to end that game and they did it they did it so I'm really really proud of those two guys with uh, the composure yeah. We, we knew that going to be a very hard game against Faith. Uh, their mirage is so 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 good. So yeah, it was like we yeah we knew it's going to be very hard, and it was very hard. But we won. So. We are playing uh, Cash, Inferno and uh, Overpass. Uh, we feel pretty confident on three maps, on all the three maps. So, so yeah, we are happy with the Vito right now, but uh, they are still one of the best teams in the world, so it's gonna be tight and a really good battle. Also! But it should be go time right about now. Let's see if they can actually make this count. Taco just takes... Oh. Oh, they had it all! Oh, they it's had over. nothing! He knows where they both are. Time is his best friend here. Nitro just trying to play the clock, and he's playing them! What? No. A turnaround from Nitro. Oh, well, he just done it so quietly. That's so smart. Now, Shox does show his hand. He's left into a big situation. He's standing up to the task, though. 25 seconds, and he still has to get past Nap. Nap only oh. has a Deagle, and Shox... He saves the day for G2 because that was spiraling out of control. Resistance already gets put down. The swift response comes in from the B team. The backup team from swinging in. It's Kenny going out from the door. Sees it in hand. You still have Smiths there with him. But where's the impact? Where's the punch, Alex? It looks like it's already falling flat. Kenny. Kenny do this one. Towards Naf, it's not going to be. It's just a P250 and Liquid. They make it look so damn easy. A solid first half from Liquid made the second half trivial. 13-2 scoreline on the half. A spectacular defensive side from the North American roster, and this is just another day in the office at the moment. Il faut qu'on reste réaliste et faux. Ce que je vous raconte, ça paraît être futile. On a gagné la game, donc vous prenez cette victoire d'hier pour acquis. La game, on n'a pas gagné parce qu'on avait plus de skill, plus de talent, plus d'expérience, plus de tout ce que vous voulez. C'est pas vrai. La game hier, on l'a gagné parce qu'on a respecté nos principes de base qui sont qu'on est un groupe uni, on est resté solaire jusqu'au bout, on s'est pris des patates dans la gueule, ça nous a même pas affecté, ça a glissé sur nous et on a attendu l'occasion. C'est 50% du boulot, genre littéralement. Plenty of nades to lock down this eco and Naf does it almost single-handedly, he does! Wow, teaching us how to count, one, two, three, four and five for Naf. Rolling the mind back, but Naf and Nitro better be ready. And they certainly are. Nitro, nice work from him and Nav. A nice little spurt of aggression as he backs away. The Molotov and Kenny combined put Nitro down and out of this round. Numbers still favor Liquid, but the bomb could be going down. Look at this push, though. Two, both pushing Nav and Taco at the same time, and Nav takes all three. Three swift headshots bring Liquid back. Level pegging, 13 to 13. Gets an AK and a chance as the bomb does go in. Kenny S. Spectacular player, but so much pressure about to be mounted. Nice smoke, gives him something to play around, but he walks straight into the crosshairs of Nitro, and that is it. I had a good first side and then I couldn't kill anyone somehow. I didn't kill anyone in 10 rounds, so I believe I didn't help the team to win. So We definitely have a lot of flaws uh, in our city side on cash and um, they used it and they managed to, to close out the side with like 13-2 or 12-3 and uh, which didn't leave us a lot of room to, to grind back uh, as it is side. Then we, we went on Inferno, which was much better, I would say. Uh, we actually lost 16-13. Uh, we know that they are really comfortable on the map, but we also really comfortable on the map. I think we, we caused them a lot of trouble. Um, 
we struggle to close it out because uh, it's team liquid, right? And uh, you cannot afford making a lot of mistakes or bad calls. And uh, we might have lacked of a bit of lucidity, I would say. Uh, but overall, I think we were satisfied about the final game because uh, liquid is liquid. And, uh, and yeah, I think we, we still managed to, to, uh, to deliver a good game on Inferno. I told them I tried to be really realistic and I told them that if uh, we will enter this tournament, we will do mistakes, we will do bad plays, um, some players will miss uh, a match or the whole tournament. Uh, and I said to them, like, we don't mind. I want you to react straight away on the moment, being solar and give what you can do now. And this is the only way to perform straight away. So that's why we try to keep it uh, with high spirits because this is the only thing we have now basically and then we will work after New York to to get deeper and do the job and yeah there's all that potential and we see it time and time again we look at those names but Right now, not delivering. Let's see if this round kind of uh, stays true to that. Or oh, it looks like G2 are going to start this one off well. Today, well. They did manage to start oh so strong, and as they do it again. Fantastic pistol work so far. It was Smith to find one. His body's got himself a double as well. Just daps on the site, and that is the end of that one. A real easy situation for G2 to close out. But the bomb goes down, so there is a little bit of something special for NRG. They'll have an extra cash coming into this next round. Body, though, the first man in the desk saying he needs to be a player in this. It needs to be a little bit more than what we saw the flamey as they like to say but down to three is still alive the bomb plot isn't perfectly for main but it's good enough as the kills oh. are coming in and they're not coming in thick and fast what a play coming out in the end good spot and kenny now kissing them in the smoke you know luke dancing around good work from him as he's managed to find a frag and get away scar free body in shocks as well from the other side of things these wall banks actually do connect eventually kenny oh i can't believe it <laughs> oh my god four times the charm a bullet through the wall and two bodies drop that's the end of the round only kenny this is not good down to 46 and forced to back away from heaven good utility usage from nrg bomb in as well courtesy of ethan existence is on the flank though and Zerk should get caught off now a 2v2 close and that's not expecting the second fugly. It's all on Kenny to try and save G2, but it's Ethan to close it. It's all about how much of a lead they can accure, if any. And the ready body starts them off in the right foot, gets the head Lovely. of Nart. Nart, I did it. Ethan, screw you. All on Cirk, <laughs> though, and he's dead. Nice. Well. Great work from G2 to start that's things off. They've not checked it. They have checked it. They have not checked it. They have checked it. Oh, and oh. through. No, this Breezy gets one. The bomb's been planted, but he's oh. dead as well. Breezy, it looks easy. Wow. <laughs> they have to stand strong. They have to be vigilant. They just haven't got the chances. They haven't got the utility. They haven't got the weapons. And it's just Kenny. He's got one. It's Shocks who gets the first headshot. And that is it. NRG. Spectacular. They're going to the Barclays Center. And we have our last team for the semi finals of ESL 1 New York. Uh, we knew that it's gonna be definitely a tough one. Uh, they just beat the phase 2 0. They took a map away from Liquid. So they're actually in a good shape. And with the, I mean, what we all wanted is just like we are really focusing on a specific af aspect uh, we are working on since uh, Malek, our coach, is coming at this event. And um, the, the, the keywords were just like to. Always have the smile, uh, don't forget it's a game, enjoy playing, trust yourself. A lot of things like this and it was definitely what we wanted to, to focus on. I think that we definitely had a good approach overall, uh, about the runes themselves, the calls and stuff like this. But when it came to just close it and secure it, we definitely had something wrong about it. We're gonna come back and so practice in uh, this new way where we all believe in and we're gonna start again the leagues from ECS and ESL Pro League. So definitely if, we, if you want to have uh, an idea about how is it going from outside, uh, then watch these matches, we are coming.